I got a lot of questions about a sprite recently and uh, that was because we did a couple tutorials back in the day uh, a while ago now so today we're gonna be delving a little bit more into a sprite and I figured the best way to do this is with the bouncing ball tutorial you see all over the place hey guys welcome back to touch by Kaim Kai and today we are back in a sprite once again uh, I got my tablet out right now and my mic is off on the side so it's kind of weird right now so excuse my fumbliness um so we're going to get started with the uh, bouncing ball tutorial that you see all over the place. It's usually the thing that uh, animators start off doing. It's kind of like if you're a, a programmer, it's kind of like Hello World. Um, it's really overdone, but I love doing the bouncing ball animation, so we're going to do that today. Um, so I have my, my preview and my timeline and everything set up over here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, uh, a base circle here, and we're going to be using... Let's use the circle tool to start out here. Um, so we're going to use the circle tool to start off, and instead of doing the straight up and down kind of um, animation, we're, we're not going to do that. Yeah, I changed my mind. We're not going to use that circle tool, because that's what you see all the time. So I'm going to do a, a ball coming in from the side here, coming in from the side, bouncing up, and then going out like that. That's what I want to do, since um, everyone always does the up and down motion. Um, so I have my preview here. I'm going to hit play on that, so we have that going. I'm going to add in uh, another frame here, and on frame 2, we're going to have this ball kind of come in. So this is going to be very rough initially, so I'm going to just draw something like that. Really, really weird. All right, I'm going to turn on as well. Actually, I'm going to duplicate a bunch of layers of frames first. So I'm going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do 10. Uh, let's just do 10. All right, I'm going to turn on um, onion skin right there too with this little button right there. So on the first frame, we're going to leave that one alone. And on the second frame, I'm going to add in that, that piece that we just had right there. And I want this to be going, going kind of fast. So I'm going to kind of make it kind of uh, really, really long like that. That, that indicates motion because it, the, the thicker something is, this looks like it's going a bit slower. But this, it's like, woo, going really fast, you know. If you look at, um, if you look at like an arrow or something, like a bow and arrow, if you see an arrow, an arrow never ever ever looks like it's not in motion when it's when it's being shot it doesn't sh it doesn't slow down enough and when it does you see that animation where the arrow goes up it goes up it kind of arcs a little bit gets a bit slower and there's more frames in there and then it goes down and it shoots right back on down so that's what we're going to have trying to have uh today it's going to bounce off of the floor here so on the third layer i'm going to go off of that second layer and we're going to go something like that and i want to try and maintain the width of the ball as well this is a very, that's a very rough right now like i'm saying I'm going to erase a little bit of this, by the way, as well. So I'm going to turn down my pixel size from 8 to 1. Erase that piece right there. B to go back to brush mode. On frame 4, we'll do the same thing. We'll follow it all the way through. And this one is going to actually make contact. So I want that to be a little bit thicker now. Erase that piece right there as well. And on frame 5, we're going to have it kind of splat. It's going to kind of splat on the, um, on the ground here. So we're going to go something like that, just like an arc, right? And then on frame 6, we'll have it pop back up. But I kind of want it to stick a little bit on the ground. So we're going to go like something like that. Like it's kind of wanting to, wanting to poof up a little bit right there. On frame 7, we'll make it actually lift off of the ground here. Uh, something, like, uh, something like that. Frame 8, we will have it go almost out. We want to maintain that size, like I said. That's pretty good. 9, we'll go almost all the way out. And frame 10 will be blank, indicating that it has now moved off of the frame. If we look at our animation over here on the uh, on the right-hand side of the screen, if I zoom in, actually, if I don't zoom in, and I just play it from over here, turn on your skin off. I play our animation now. You should be able to see that we have a really cool bouncing ball animation, but this can be cleaned up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to delete a couple of these, uh, erase a couple of these edges we don't need, like these double edges here. I don't like the way that looks. Um, so we're going to get rid of a couple of those. I'm going to leave that one, though. And I want to expand this just a bit like that. This is kind of like the fine tuning process. So I'm going to erase some of these pixels that we don't need in there. Maybe like a couple of those. The same thing on frame four here. Uh, erase a couple of these frames we don't need. If you want to leave some of these, like if I were to add in uh, another layer of the pixels like that, that kind of indicates more thick edge. So I might do something like this over here. To try and give that more of a thick kind of, oh, hey, it's it's actually touching the ground there. Um, so I want to get rid of that piece right there, those two. And on five, we'll do the same thing. I want this to be kind of thick, so we'll thicken up these edges here. Kind of have it really accentuate the splat, but still maintain like a round character, I suppose. On frame six, we'll do the same thing. That doesn't need that much, uh, actually. Just get rid of those pieces. Maybe that one. Eh, leave that one. Um, yeah, there we go. 
And this is, like I said, this is very, it's, it's kind of tedious, especially, ooh, uh, especially the longer your animation is. But fortunately, our animation is only 10 frames, and it repeats um, very nicely since it's, a, since it's a bouncing ball. It can just come in the screen and go out of the screen. Um, but uh, frame 8 here with the same thing with the cleanup process. And I kind of want to accentuate its picking up speed here. So I'll add in a couple of pixels around this area. Uh, maybe not that much right there. Something like uh, something like that. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just leave it the way it was. Yeah. All right. Maybe that piece right there. Yeah. All right. So on frame 9, which is the final frame, I'll get rid of those two pieces and that and that. And it looks like we are good to go. There's some weird stuff going on at this end frame right there that's changing a bit too much. I want it to kind of maintain the the shape it was in the last frame. Just up a bit more. I think it looks pretty good. I think our animation is now too slow, though. It's a bit too slow. Um, so it could be a bit faster. And the way we can fix this is go up to frame and uh, change the constant frame rate to... Uh, the duration, this is the duration of milliseconds. So there's as many, millisec many milliseconds within uh, the animation. So the lower we go, I think it's the lower. The lower we go, the slower the animation plays, correct? Or maybe it's the faster. Yeah, it's backwards. The, the, lower the, the lower the milliseconds, the faster the animation is. So if I go like 60 milliseconds, it should be much faster. Um, no, it's a bit too fast unless it's like a sky ball. I don't know. But we'll go somewhere in between. We'll go like 75, I guess, right? And that should be pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like the way that this. All right, so that looks pretty good. And I want to add some color through here. Since this is a pretty quick tutorial, I want to add in some color. We've been having a lot of quick tutorials lately. Um, so I'm going to add in a nice, uh, uh, we'll go with a red ball. Why not? It's so overdone. But I'll do it anyway because we've been having a lot of blue thumbnails lately. <laughs> so I'm going to hit G on my keyboard to, uh, to um, bucket fill all of these. And since it's a ball then all of our uh, pixels are filled so we don't have to worry about uh, any any gaps inside right so we can just go ahead and color all those in I want to do some quick shading as well so I'll select like a uh, dark this dark purple color right here um, and we'll add in a new layer and I'll right click and uh, add a new layer there and over top of each one of these I'm gonna put some shading on the ooh, I'm still on uh, I'm still on bucket fill with B I'm going to um, I'm gonna color in just the bottom pieces of the uh, of the ball here, kind of kind of try and give it a a round-ish kind of look, I suppose. Maybe something like that. Maybe and accentuate those those shadowy places, like I had mentioned before. Go through and kind of try and hit all the bases there. And then uh, once we're done with the shadow, this is like, of course, this is way too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those pieces right there. I'm going to go ahead and um, and we're going to uh, to do some cool overlay techniques with this. So uh, now that that's all done, we have our animation with the shading, but that's too much shading. So it looks like it's different colors now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change this layer. And I think it's the properties. I can do that. Yep. And then the mode, we're going to change this mode to uh, overlay. Overlay could look good. I want to do... Um, and you know, we'll leave it with overlay. We'll stick with overlay and we'll turn the opacity down a bit. So now we have that little bit of shading there, which looks pretty nice. So that looks like it's going to be it for our bouncing ball animation. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next Ace Sprite tutorial. Let me know what you want to see in Ace Sprite, by the way. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, bye.